My name is Tina Khatun. I, I am 18 years old. I live in class 11. And my subject is, um, favorite subject is English. I like to stay in orphanage very much because uh, in my home only I have my auntie. I don't have my parents because when I was uh, nine years old, I lost my mother. And after six months, I lost my father also. Then I came here and at first uh, I feel very sad because I feel very alone. I don't know anyone here, but when I met with Sister Nectaria, she, she loves me like my parents. She gave me everything what I need. I don't like to go home and also holiday time I stay, used to stay here. But she, she loves me like my mother and she always helped me what I need. Those who have no father and mother at all, because some girls they have some relatives. They come from very, very poor families, but they have one of the parents, uh, or uncle, auntie, or grandmother, grandfather. But those who have no one, they are more attached, attached to me because I am their only person that they, they lean, they depend on. I think Debbie is an example of uh, somebody special in our orphanage. She was actually picked up from the road uh, from by Father Ignatius at a very young age and brought to the orphanage. She's an example of, uh, of I always think of, of love in action. You know, Father was love and uh, when he brought her to the orphanage, he just brought her out of his love and today she's flowering. She's doing well in her studies. She had some medical problems, which she still has, but we pray and hope that she would come out of them. And she's one example, one inspiration that we have in the orphanage that uh, with love and a good environment, what a difference and a transformation a child can go through. So I took care of her as baby. And uh, you know, uh, you love a baby, not because you gave birth to it, because you grow it up, you br bring the baby up. And I, I think that if I have given real birth to her, I don't think I could love more than I do now and she is of course attached to me because she thinks I am her mother and of course she's very small still very small I cannot explain to her I'm not the real mother and she thinks that all my family in Greece is her family and she says I want to talk to Yaya in Greece Yaya grandma and she talks in Greek to her on the telephone Yaya τι κάνεις καλά σ' αγαπώ πολύ Yaya To succeed my dream I have learned one of these things from this orphanage, from Sister Nectaria, that how to love someone who have no one like orphan. Like this, I want to help Sister Nectaria for these social activities. With all the girls, I am like uh, friends. They are very close to me, and if I need anything, they also help me. I can't comment really what will happen to these girls in the orphanages, but it definitely uh, gives them some possibility of freedom. I mean, the fact that they have an education, the fact that they might get opportunities to be employed, gives them some pretty good agency than what maybe a family could have given them. The model that we discussed and decided uh, was there are ways of working with orphans and one is to alienate them from society and that's a very painful existence because when they are ready to go back into their societies they are so alienated from their societies that they're not accepted back and that existence is quite painful so father was uh, very clear on that and he kept them in touch uh, with their society when we came to this orphanage we felt the pain of leaving our homes but it was for the time being. Gradually, we started to forget the pain of leaving our homes. Here, we have a family. We stay here like sisters, younger or elder to one another. Here, we help each other. We study, play and enjoy our lives. As a result, we don't feel sad anymore. Sister Nectaria loves us very much. She takes care of us. 
She is just like a mother. She always encourages us to do our best. We get food, clothing and everything we need for education from this orphanage. We have talents. We have to keep those up. We all now have dreams. Some of us want to be teachers, some lawyers, some nurses, some accountants, artists and so on. We all hope we hope that many distressed or destitute children will get opportunities like us and make their lives bright.